Hello friends, welcome to today's a summer tear tray a decorate with me. I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy seeing how I style a tear tray in four different ways. And as always, if you guys do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. But let's go ahead and get started. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Okay friends, so we are going to get started with the tear tray number one. I decided to go for a very neutral look for this one and the reason I am doing four different styles this time as opposed to my usual three is because I decided to throw in a patriotic one at the end and the second one you guys will see in just a second is actually just switching up a few things from the first one so I still wanted to give you guys plenty of ideas. So that is why there's going to be four different styles in this video. But like I said, I'm starting off with this first one that is going to be very neutral. The cream colored picture you guys just saw me put up is from House and Home. It is a new item I just recently purchased and I absolutely love it. The little crock on the left side of the tray is a thrifted find and this beautiful towel right here is also from House and Home. It is part of one of her newest releases so I will definitely have her shop linked down below. It is my go-to for kitchen towels and other cute decor pieces. Definitely recommend you guys will see I use several pieces in this video. And right behind at the bottom level of this tray I just added some glass faces. I'm I'm adding this little plant in a galvanized planter up at top just to add that hint of greenery and I will be adding some more greenery later on. I feel so free I'm a sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free so I was struggling with the placement, but as you guys saw, I just rolled up that little kitchen towel and placed it towards the back. I do end up raising it towards the end, but right in front, I just added some more of these cute white ceramic bowls. I used them at the bottom level of the tear tray as well. They are from Hobby Lobby from their spring line. I'm sure some Hobby Lobbies are out of them, but if yours still has them, I definitely recommend getting some. I have used them so many times throughout my decor and I really do love them and then right beside it I just placed an LED fake candle I love it because it gives like that real wax feeling and on top I'm just adding the cute little white ceramic pitcher that is also from Hobby Lobby and then I decided that I wanted to play with the placement of the bottom items because I didn't want the bigger pitcher and the smaller pitcher on the same side of the tray just because it made one side seem heavier than the other so that is why I switched those items up but nonetheless inside of the tiny white pitcher I am adding these beautiful antique looking spoons these are also from house and home they are a newer item and I love them they're so tiny and dainty but they add the perfect amount of vintage I think they are not really vintage but they definitely give that look so I really do love them and then I'm just adding this rolling pin and this spoon that I loved using in my tear trays previously and continuously love doing so I just think it adds the perfect amount of warmth and wood texture. And then these baby's breaths are actually just dried up and I'm just going to add them throughout the tray. and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty 
And now for some final touches, I'm just going to add this piece of greenery inside of these bowls as well as place a cute little white bird on top of it. And that is going to be basically it. I just went back in and I tried to stand up that kitchen towel towards the back just to add a little bit of height. But that was it for this first tray. Get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Okay friends, so as I mentioned at the beginning of this video for the second tray, I'm just making a few simple changes and switching out a few of the pieces for a different look. I really loved the neutral palette the first one had, so I wanted to keep it the same but still add a pop of color and the common lemon for the summer. I love lemons for summer. I love the color yellow. I think it just adds so much happiness to a home. So I definitely wanted to include this as an option. As you guys saw, I just removed the candle and I placed a ceramic lemon I got from Target's Dollar Spot a few years ago. I will try to find something similar on Amazon for you guys and link it down below. But I'm sure you can also use real lemons. And then I just brought the glass vase to the front on the bottom level of this tray and pushed the crock to the back. And then this cute little mason jar is a salt and pepper shaker set. I just used one of them. I thought the mason jar just paired really well with the lemons and I replaced the little bird with another lemon and right beside it I am placing this half lemon. I just love the look of the full lemon and the half lemon right next to each other and that was basically it. I do go ahead and pop up the towel at the top a little bit more just so you can actually see it but that was it for the second look. I love that you can just change up a tray by switching up a few little pieces. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is a star with your name. One thing I know is that there should be. There is no one. Okay, so now this third one has to be the one that most closely is inspired by my current decor. If you guys have not seen my summer decorating videos, I will link them up in the corner and down below in the description box for you guys. But I love how this came out and it definitely matches my current theme. So I just started off by laying that kitchen towel from House and Home. That same little crock I've been using and then this terracotta pot towards the back to fill up some of that empty space and add that touch of terracotta color that I have throughout my home. And then this, I'm not even sure what it is, but it is a thrifted find. I just like the touch of wood that it adds and warmth and how it kind of comes out of of the tray you guys know i am a fan of placing items that just stem outside of the tray i think it just adds a lot of interest and i'm definitely a tier tray decorator focused on the front view i don't decorate them so you can see them all around i usually just decorate them for like front facing decor but i just added some greenery and then i'm gonna add this cute little piggy from uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this. It has a cute little rain boots and just really ties in that farmhouse theme for me and I just think he's so cute. Again, I'm just going to add this rolling pin and this spoon inside of that terracotta planter just to have some items stemming away from the tray. Like I said, I really love doing that with my trays. And these little spoons are also from House and Home and I'm going to place these inside of the little crock. I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who's sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone Okay, up at the top, I placed an aged terracotta pot and two little terracotta pots right beside it. And this 
Little Belle is from Hobby Lobby from their wedding section and I kind of ripped off and distressed one of the sides. It doesn't look the best but it definitely works so I went ahead and used it anyways. And then I'm just going to fill up some of the empty spaces with some greenery. This greenery is my favorite for the summer right now. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It does come in a bigger stem for $8 and I have used it throughout my home so it's definitely one of my favorites. And I just use that again to fill up some of the empty space and then I'm adding this little vase with some baby's breasts towards the back of the tray and I will add a few stems here and there but that is basically it for this tray I really do love this I love the um, splash of terracotta and I think it came out so cute Okay, and for this fourth and last tray, I really wanted to do something patriotic because I know a lot of people include this in their summer decor. I don't necessarily start incorporating it until 4th of July comes closer and I don't really go all out. If you guys missed last year's video, I actually did it on a $20 budget and I'm thinking of doing the same thing this year and just, you know, add to my current 4th of July collection but I started off by placing this beautiful kitchen towel at the bottom. I added this cute little planter and I just stuck a US flag inside of it. I'm going to reuse that glass vase with some baby's breath on it and then I will incorporate a few more of these items I purchased from Hobby Lobby last year. I know that they have their 4th of July items out right now. I'm still waiting for it to go on sale before I go ahead and I film my $20 challenge and decorate for 4th of July again. I had a lot of fun doing it last year so definitely want to do it again this year. In front of the little sign I just went ahead and placed these bowls and the little pitcher with the same vintage spoons that I used in a previous tray. I just love these spoons so much. And up at top I'm gonna add this little salt and pepper shaker set that comes in this galvanized little basket. I got this from Hobby Lobby from their spring shop. I'm adding another glass vase, some more baby's breath, and a few more 4th of July items such as these stars and another sign towards the back and that is going to be basically it for this tray. I really love how patriotic it is, how colorful it is, and I hope that if you are one of those persons that incorporates patriotic decor right away for summer, this gives you some inspiration for your tear tray. But that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you guys did, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Also, let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. I love making this video and hearing which ones you guys liked the best. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye. Right, so much better.